Hi, today we've got another delivery from JLC PCB and some components from LCSC. So uh, in here we should have the PCBs that I'm going to use for a soldering tutorial. So this is the through-hole soldering uh, practice board that we're going to do some testing on. Um, let's have a look at the PCBs up close. So here we have the PCBs up close and you can see I've gone for the blue solder mask and JLC PCB are now offering any colour solder mask uh, for the same price of $2 for 10 PCBs. So previously you had to pay an engineering fee if you wanted a colour other than green but now they're all for, uh, $2 for 10 PCBs which is really really good value for money. Um, the turnaround is between 24 and 48 hours uh, for a standard two layer PCB like this one and I ordered the PCB uh, and got it to my house within a week so really fast turnaround and if you're placing your first order with JLC PCB uh, they're offering up to $20 discount on shipping on your first order so um, yeah I definitely recommend uh, if you're thinking about getting some prototype boards made uh, visit JLC PCB and, and it's really good value for money and the PCBs as you can see are really good quality so uh, absolutely no complaints uh, about the quality and the service. So the idea behind these boards is um, I'm going to do a couple of videos on soldering techniques for through-hole PCBs. Uh, there'll also be a series after that on surface mount soldering. Uh, but aside from that I thought we'd also have a look at uh, different types of solder. So um, I've got various types of solder in the lab. I've got some multi-core solder which is uh, generally quite expensive. Uh, I've got some Farnell own brand um, solder. And then I've ordered a couple of Chinese brands as well. Uh, I've got a couple more coming in the post. And I thought I'd do a comparison under the microscope to see how these flow, um, you know, to see whether these are worthwhile buying because um, some of these soldiers, like the multicore one, I think, you know, this is like 30 or 35 pounds for a reel uh, in comparison to this, which was something like $2 delivered to the door. And if the composition is correct, so if it really is 63% tin and 37% lead, um, it shouldn't really um, matter too much, it's uh, more down to um, how good the flux is in the solder. Uh, but I thought it'd be really interesting to have a look close up in the microscope um, to see how these behave. So those will be some videos coming up. And to go with these PCBs I also ordered some components from LCSC uh, for the purpose of uh, soldering onto these boards. So what I ordered basically was a variety of components for testing on this PCB. Um, so we've got some, some blue LEDs here, let's have a look at these, there we go, so a nice deep royal blue LED, I think these are 430 nanometers, so a nice deep blue. And then we've got some RGB LEDs, so um, I think these are common anode LEDs, and I remember these LEDs used to be really, really expensive. When I used to order from Rapid Electronics all the time, they were about £2 an LED or something like that. Uh, so green, nice blue and a nice red as well, so uh, those are quite nice. We've got some capacitors. So I've gone for the, uh, the Chinese special to go on here, so uh, use a Capson branded um, capacitors. We've got some uh, E-line transistors here, so some MPN transistors, these should fit in the PCB just there, so ZTEX um, transistors. Uh, we've got some voltage regulators. So these are the ones in the uh, insulated package. Um, these are really good for if you mount into a heat sink and you want to mount lots of them. Uh, it does compromise the uh, thermal conductivity very slightly, uh, but these are really nice. I quite like using these as opposed to the ones with the metal tab. And then we've got various ceramic capacitors. So we've got some here two different pitches to go in here, some more electrolytic capacitors and uh, a couple of picks so uh, we might program up this pick in the middle and make the LEDs change colour just so that the uh, PCB does something. So I think that's about it for this video. Uh, coming up we'll do some soldering on these boards and have a look close up with the microscope and uh, we'll also go through what classes are a good solder joint according to the IPC standards. Um, so that should be quite interesting. Uh, and as I said, we'll have a look at some different types of uh, solder as well, close up. Um, the lighting project is very temporarily on hold while I wait for something to arrive in the post. Uh, so I'll update you when that arrives. 
Um, but yeah, I, I recommend that you go to JLC PCB if you're looking at getting any PCBs made because it's just really good value for money and really fast turnaround. So I always used to make my PCBs myself, but it just doesn't really make sense anymore. The chemicals are more expensive uh, than getting the PCBs made and delivered. So um, yeah, highly recommended. So until next time, thanks for watching.